Here's how I would paint contrast death core of Creek Troopers. I'm going to start with some uh, Griff Charger Grey over the base of Wraithbone. And Griff Charger Grey, I'm using that for the pants and for the insides of his long coat, his great coat. And uh, this paint is a little bit blue, a little bit grey, and I think it's a good base to start with for the pants. With the inside of the coat and the pants, this light grey, I'm going to the outside a bit more darker blue and more, more vibrant. And for that I'm using Contrast Ultramarines Blue. And it is really nice and blue. It's a very deep blue color and it's great for contrast paint because it will really go into the recess and will give you nice shading and highlighting. There he is, bright blue coat and some light grey pants. Now time for Contrast Black Templar. And I'm going to hit all of the metal parts of the Mini with this. And that's just to make it black and then later we'll dry brush it a little bit for some metallic shine. Uh, so it's the gun, it's the helmet, it's the armor, it's the backpack, the parts that are metallic. And uh, the boots as well. And while the Contrast Black Templar is drying, I'm taking Contrast Skeleton Horde. And I'm going over all the cloth part, all the pouches and so on that he has. And also those leg warmers that he's walking around with. And then a bit of contrast snake bite leather for the gloves, just to make it look like they're nice and leathery gloves. And I didn't want to do them black as well, because then you just can't see the difference between the glove that's holding the hand here and the gun. Now the white mask and the hose that's attached to it don't have any contrast in it. You can see here, it's just a little white patch on the mini. And to fix that, I'm gonna wash it very lightly with some non-oil. I want to keep the face and the mask still white so it gets that skull look. So you can't really wash it heavily with non-oil. You can't drown it in a wash like I normally do. But just a little bit that seeps into the recesses is good because it will get you the contrast and it will make his face show up again. And to finish that skull look, I'm gonna take some black and paint the lenses on his mask. And this will really make the mask look like the skull that it's supposed to be. Now before weathering and distressing and making this mini look a bit more grim dark, I'm gonna add some basing material. And this is Sterland Mud. And it's great for Krieg, great for Cadians as well. You, just your Imperial Guard looks great with this sort of basing material. Because it really gives the impression that they've been fighting over the same patch of land for a while. You know, everything is caked in the same mud, everything is shelled to bits. And there's just another soldier being pushed into the meat grinder. And when this basic material has dried, I'm gonna start griming up the mini, make him look more dusty, dirty, rusty, bloody, whatever's needed to make him look a little bit more grimdark. Time for a bit of weathering, a battle damage, dust and dirt on this mini. Because right now, this is all just contrast paints. And it's pretty simple to get him to this level. You just use the contrast over the base spray and this is it. And from a distance, this still looks good. You still have the contrast between the black gun, the white mask and the lighter blue ar armor. But my style is a little bit grimdark. I have a simple grimdark style that I use in many of these beginner videos that just gives you a little bit of battle damage on the metals, a little dust and dirt on the uniforms. So take some Stormhost Silver and lightly dry brush all the metals. And the gun will immediately start looking like a metal gun rather than a plastic toy soldier's gun. And it will immediately also set this material apart from the overcoat, from his armor, his cloth. Otherwise, all the parts of the mini reflect the light in the same way, because you use contrast paint for all these parts. And now that there's some metal scratches and dry brushing on the helmet and on the shoulder pads, it starts to look like metal instead of just plastic. So now his gun actually looks like metal and he has some scratches and dents on the helmet too and the shoulder pads. And he needs a little bit of dirt on his boots. And I'm taking some Rhino's hide and I'm stippling on the boots and dry brushing a bit upwards along the bottom of his overcoat. And this will simulate dirt coming up onto his clothes and onto his boots as he's slogging it out through this mud that he's standing on. And Rhino's Hide is the right combination to use with Sterland Mud. It's the same color, it's just Sterland Mud has the texture paste in it. And then your Contrast Krieger looks like this. He's now covered in mud from the Rhino's Hide. His weapon, his helmet, his shoulder pads are all scratched from the Stormhost Silver. And for the rest he has just nice contrast paints on his armor. His clothes, his overcoat and his backpack. 
And this is a pretty simple way of painting your creek. And it's less than 10 paints, so you don't have to buy hundreds of paints when you start a new army. And it's easy to keep up with. You can do this in a squad of 10 men, maybe in an evening. Wait for the contrast to dry on one minute here, and in the meantime you're painting the rest. And then by the time you're finished with number 10, you can probably start with the contrast paint, the next contrast paint, on your first miniature. And that way you can work through a squad in a relatively short time. As always, thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time.